and then it's hard sometimes sending your CVs around. Yeah. And sometimes when you have the potential, how do you get industry to know your potential? Mm -hmm. And at AIMS, we train the, the creme de la creme of talents. So AIMS is, you said, the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences. Yeah. We bring the best talents in Africa together, give them the best lecturers in the world wow. to teach them, and we produce the best graduates. Mm. And so where would the, these graduates, these talents, how do they get into industry? Mm -hmm. And that's how with Mark and Davies, we came up with this program. Okay, so Mark, give me the details of this program. Um, thanks, Lexus, and uh, greetings to all your listeners this afternoon. Yes, the you know we have such clever graduates, but to get to industry, they still have to learn workplace skills, mm. and they still need personal development skills. So the Industry Immersion Program is a program that we've designed both with Ames Garner and a partnership in Germany with the European School of Management and Technology. And Lexus, it's like the bridge to industry. Mm. So we take these great graduates from mathematics, and then we put them through a six-week course of business skills and personal development skills. And then they are better placed to understand the workplace. Yeah. And then we can take them into the workplace through internships. And David can touch on that. Okay, yeah. David. Yeah, thank you very much, Lexus. Thank you to your listeners as well. Definitely. So basically, I can tell you about myself. So my name is um, Dr. Tifo. I did my undergraduate at the University of Ghana. And uh, when I graduated, I joined Ames in 2013 in Senegal. When I joined Ames in Senegal, I, I um, studied and then finished my master's with them. After my master's, I went on to do a PhD with support funding from the German government. Um, after that, I, I met Mark, and we realized that the trajectory of my, my colleagues, like myself, everybody expects us to go on and become teachers, you know. But now with this industry um, immersion program, which is mm -hmm. the kind of bridge to industry, you find out that a lot of the students who have joined the program over the past five years have ended up in industry, and they've been very, very successful. Right. And looking at this success, we are saying that what is the next phase for us? And that is what we are bringing to call the hybrid internship hubs. Okay. So the, essentially, the hybrid internship hubs in itself, it's really to look at solving the problem of people not being able to work fully in the workplace and looking at the future of work and saying that if our students cannot go to the workplace immediately after they graduate because of the COVID pandemic or how the workplace is changing rapidly, mm -hmm. Where then do we put them? Because um, in general, they cannot sit at home because they don't have internet at home. Yeah. But our tech labs, our innovation spaces have been powered with state-of-the-art you know, facilities, which would enable anybody to be able to work there. So we are saying that we can put students in teams of twos or threes, and they can sit within these tech spaces and work for companies. That way is actually a very appealing model mm. for a lot of companies because then they can leverage on these top talents to be able to do real work for them, you know, I would say um, more remotely than, you know, sitting in their office spaces. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, I hear you talk about tech a lot. And of course, the future of work is technology oriented, of course. Exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering which industries the, the, this is actually going to focus on. Yeah, um, Lexus, um, they're focusing even in the media, for example. There's, there's now a lot of work in the, in the media space on data analytics. So, for example, um, w your listeners are listening to us right now, but a lot of people are on Twitter tweeting about whether their hybrid hub is going to work or not, right? How do we know the real Twitter analytics? Mm -hmm. The Twitter analytics comes in, we know your listenership, people who are tuning into your station every time, you know how many people are listening to the, are watching the radio, uh, I mean, watching the TV and all of that. So all these analytics can be done to actually help to enhance the good work that you guys are already doing. Yeah. We also look at um, spaces within finance. They can work for, you know, uh, problems for the finance space. They can also work in the agricultural space. In the advent of, you know, climate change, yeah. the students can actually work on projects around these things. So um, the truth is that Students, these students, because they are top brains, they're actually well cut out for brilliant, um, you know, tech spaces around yeah. the country. And this is what we are looking for them to look 
No, uh, I, to I'm, I'm totally excited about it. And I'm sure the one listening as well would want to join in. How do they join in? How do they, uh, you know, sign up for this? Do you want to tell them how it gets through So, so um, I, you have to go through AIMS. Mm-hmm. Um, AIMS is a fully funded institution. So currently we are running it, this program for our graduates, for our students who have graduated. Um, we definitely would be working with other institutions, such as the University of Ghana, eventually, okay. Okay. to also set up such hubs for their uh, graduate. But for a start, we are working with our graduates. So anybody who is interested to pursue f- uh, postgraduate education, anyway, AIMS is a postgraduate education. We train masters and PhD students okay. who wants to pursue postgraduate education <coughs> could come through AIMS and then get into our program. Again, companies who want to uh, get these quality of uh, graduates can also come. Mm. Again, institutions, I mentioned uh, KN, University of Ghana, KNUST, other universities would want to partner with us and run the model with us. We will gladly welcome them. Okay. Good. Who are your existing partners now? Uh, so we're very excited. Um, this new innovation, this new hybrid um, innovation we have partnered both with a Canadian partner called Ripen, who is okay. introducing an online platform. And clearly, you know, Lexus, an online platform allows us to connect so many students with industry. Mm-hmm. So we're not simply looking at Accra anymore. We can reach out to Temer and all over the country because of the online platform. We're also delighted to say we have Microsoft uh-huh. ADC, who are joining in as a partner to provide virtual training skills. And then we have the Impact Hub in Accra, yeah. who are going to be providing that space that David was talking to. So we 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 blessed with the partnerships we've signed this year. All right, good stuff. Uh, maybe you should share with me contact numbers because I know people are excited about this and they want to get in touch with you. So uh, Adelaide, how can they reach Ames Ghana? So physically, Ames Ghana is located at East Legon Hills, Summer Hills Estate. Uh, you f- we can be found at uh, our website, Ames Ghana or www.amesghana.edu.gh. Okay. Or you can write to our info at amesghana.edu.gh. Okay. Email. Um, just walk into Ames Ghana. We have a team there that would assist you. Um, we My email uh, is adlate at amesghana.edu.gh. Yeah. But we welcome you physically. We yeah. want, of course, we, we uh, within COVID, we don't do a lot of physical contact. But yes, with minimal contact, we can um, talk. Yeah. I, I think for starters, what I'd want my uh, my listener to do right now, if you're listening to Joy FM, just log on to the website, yes. www.aimsghana.edu.gh right now. Okay, once we're done having the conversation, just log on and have a look at the stuff that they're doing. See, read about it, read about uh, this data, data analytics internship hub program as well, and read about AIMS, the ESMT, uh, you know, partnership. You know, read about it, get to know all about it, and you can pass by East Legon and speak to Adelaide and, and her team. I'm really happy that you came to tell me about this, and I'm sure my listener would uh, find it very uh, essential right now. Thank you so much. Any final words before we wrap up? I would just like to say this is a very exciting time. You know, the fourth industrial revolution is upon us, and we want to harness that within Ghana and within Africa. And mathematicians and data analytics and this program will go a long way to assisting that. Good Thank stuff. you, Lexus. All right. Adelaide, any final words? Yes. Just uh, to say that, you know, when I talk about AIMS, people say mathematics, and you know people run away from mathematics. But just to say, as um, David said, math is everywhere. He gave you an example of media. So our graduates are found everywhere, in the oil industry, in uh, agriculture. Mm. We, we have great uh, people working in the field of climate science and atmospheric physics. So please, don't shy. Whoever you are out there, um, please... Don't think yeah. it is pure. It's we do basic application of mathematics. Okay. Perfect. Well, <laughs> that makes me glad. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly what I was waiting for. <laughs> Thank you so much. Doc, Doc as well, uh, you want to say something finally before we wrap yes, up? Yes. Um, I just want to encourage all the youth that, um, you know, don't shy away from mathematics when you're in school because there's a lot of opportunity with the fourth industrial revolution. Okay. And we're looking at really 
helping to spearhead and push our country, particularly into the fourth industrial revolution. Because we haven't actually started, and I'm very excited that Ames has taken it upon itself to try and push the country into that phase. Good Thank stuff. You, Thank you so much. Dr. David Atipo is program lead at Ames IIP, and Mark Heaton is the co-founder Ames CSMT IIP, and Adley DeSante is the COO of Ames Ghana. Thank you very much for coming by the studio today. Thank All you. right. Stay tuned to Joy 99.7 FM. Bye. Bye, Tando. Guess what? She's in the studio. Oh! <laughs>